Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of physics. Now, in VT, you have uh, four to five subjects, which are physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, as well as data analysis, which is also known as mental ability. So, in order to um, pass in any of the subject, it's really important that uh, practice. It's really important to practice. So, therefore, today we're going to be looking at how to practice for physics questions. Now, let's start off with this question. The resistance of a wire is R ohms. If it's melted and stretched to n times its original length, its new resistance will be R over n, n square R, R over n squared, n R. So, how do we solve this question? Well, for that we need to find out the formula for resistance which involves its length. Now that formula is R equals rho times L over A. Rho is resistivity, L is length, A is area. But here lies the problem. Trying to compare the old resistance and the new resistance by using this formula would be incorrect because the process used to change the length of the wire is melting and stretching. So when a wire is melted and stretched to uh, a, a new length, then its width also changes. So what basically means is that the volume for both sides, for both wires, is constant. So therefore, we would need to uh, include volume in our calculations. Now, area is basically volume over length, so therefore, the L in the denominator goes to the numerator, so you get rho L square over A. So R equals rho L square over A. Now the resistance of the first wire, R1, is R ohms. We will consider its length as L. Now for the new wire, we will find out the resistance and the length given is n times the original length, so n times L. So the resistance, the formula for resistance for both of these would be R, for the original wire it'll be R equals rho L square over V. And for the new resistance R dash, that will be equal to rho times and into L, we square them both and divide that by V. V, since the volume on both sides are the same. Now we can use a comparison. So when we use R dash over R, we get rho N square L square over V times V over rho L squared. So we're dividing when you're dividing two fractions, one of the fractions, when inverted, can be multiplied to the other. So that's what we're doing. So we can cancel out V, we can cancel out rho, we can cancel out L squared. So R dash over R is N, I mean N squared. So therefore, the new resistance will be N squared times the old resistance. So R dash equals N squared R is the correct answer. If we look at the following options, it is clear that option B is the correct option. The reason being that we need to use a formula which contains, which uh, expresses resistance in terms of length and volume, since we're melting and stretching the original wire. So, so uh, once we've done that, it's a good idea to compare the two resistances and then we can get the value of the new resistance in terms of the original one, which is n square r. Now let's look at another question. A coil of 40 Henry inductance is connected in series with a resistance of 8 ohms, and the combination is joined to the terminals of a 2 volt battery. 
what is the time constant of this circuit? Is it 20 seconds, 5 seconds, 1 by 5 seconds, or 40 seconds? Well, the circuit that we're dealing with here is an LR circuit, an inductance resistance circuit. Now, in this circuit, there's this value called the time constant, and the time constant is represented by tau. The value of tau in a series LR circuit is L over R, which is the inductance over the resistance. Now, you'll learn about this in alternating current. So, L over R is our formula. We have L, that's 40 Henry, R, 8 ohms. Simple division, 40 over 8. So, the value of tau equals 5 ohms. I mean, 5 seconds, actually, because it wouldn't be ohms. We're dealing with time constants, so therefore the unit will be seconds. So, tau equals 5 seconds is the correct answer. So, therefore, once again, option B is the correct option. 40 over 8, when you do the division, it's 5, so therefore all the other values are incorrect. And we have to do it as 40 over 8 because, well, we're talking about inductance over resistance. So therefore, option B uh, might have marked it incorrect, but it's actually the correct one. So option B, 5 seconds, is the correct option. Now let's look at the final question for today. Which of the following is the correct lens formula? So again, the lens formula is what we use to find out, you know, object distance, image distance, and um, focus, the focal length. So therefore, um, and again, lens formula is used for optic lens. So we have four formulas here, all of them involving object distance, image distance, and the focal length. We need to find out which of these is the correct oh, is the correct formula. Now, the lens formula itself is derived from another another formula known as the lens maker's formula. Now, the original lens maker's formula is one by v times one by u equals n minus 1 times 1 by r1 over minus 1 by r2. So this is the original lens maker's formula. Let's call this equation 1. Now let's consider v equals the focal length and u equals infinity, which is true if you try to uh, take a focal, uh, if you try to take an image, I mean, if you try to take an object and put it in the focal, at the focus of, you know, an optical lens, a convex optical lens, then its um, image stretches for an infinity. On the other hand, when you have parallel rays hitting the mirror, that is, the object is from infinity, then the, Im the light rays, uh, you know, focus at the focal point. They come together at the focal point. So, when we consider V as F, then U has to be infinity, and vice versa. So, when we apply V equals F and U equals infinity, we get 1 by V as 1 by F, and 1 by U as 1 over infinity, which is basically 0. So, what we're getting is 1 by F minus 0 equals and minus 1 times 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. This is our equation number 2. Now if you notice, the RHS for equations 1 and 2 are the same, so equate LHS. And the final answer that we're getting is 1 by v minus 1 by u equals 1 over f. So the lens formula is the formula that relates the focal length to the object distance and the image distance. And this is the correct form of the lens, 
of the lens formula. So therefore, option A, 1 by V minus 1 by U equals 1 by F is the correct answer. The others are incorrect because, again, in option B, the sign is different. And in option C and D, it's V, U, and F instead of their um, inverses, so multiplicative inverses. So it's V, U, and F instead of 1 by V, 1 by U, and 1 by F. So therefore, the correct answer for this question is option A. And the best way to do, uh, derive it is by using the lens maker's formula, which is 1 by V minus 1 by U equals N minus 1 times 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Now, all you have to do is substitute V with F and then the object distance we know to be infinity. So therefore, in this scenario, it'll be 1 by F equals the RHS. You just have to equate the two left-hand sides and you get the lens formula. So that ends today's episode of the T Workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and informative content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate. Now, if you like the video, then you can like it and share it to others. Also, you can hit the notifications icon if you want to access more of our videos and get updates on our latest content. So, until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.